Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to look at operations with vectors in space. So what do we mean when we say operations? We mean different um, mathematical operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dot products in space, and finding magnitude. So we've got two vectors. This is a vector u and vector v. And we want to add those two vectors in three dimensions. What's well, exactly the same as two dimensions, only you've got this third position, third coordinate. So to add these, we're just going to take each position, the horizontal, which is 6 and 3, and we're going to add that. We're going to take the vertical, which is negative 4 and negative one, and then the Z value, which actually ends up being our vertical when we draw it in space, and we add those. So you're just adding these vectors together, each position. So the X direction would be nine, the Y direction would be negative five, and the Z direction would be a positive three. So you're just adding those positions. Same thing works with subtracting. So let's say we're going to take u minus v. Okay, of course, order does matter on subtraction, so you would take the u coordinate, u minus the v, u minus the v, be careful with the double negatives, and u minus v. So the coordinates for that position would be negative 3, negative 5, and negative 1. Okay, very simple to add and subtract. Now, scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication in three dimensions is exactly like two dimensions. So let's say we're going to have 2v. We're going to very simply multiply each position in the v vector by 2. So that's 2 times the vector, 6, negative 1, 2. And that becomes the vector 12 negative 2, and 4. So it's just multiplying each value by 2. So doubling that distance. Now let's talk about dot products in three dimensions. Dot products in two dimensions, you add each, or you, you multiply each position. So you take your x's and multiply, and then add y and multiply. Now we're going to uh, multiply the z position and add those. So if you have three, let me bring these down so we can see them, three, negative four, one, and we're going to find the dot product with the second vector, which is six, negative one, two. We're going to very simply multiply three and six. We're going to add to it, multiplying negative 4 and negative 1. And as you can see, you just got to be careful with your signs. And we're going to add to it 4, I'm sorry, 1 and 2, that product, 1 times 2. And so we're going to get 18 plus negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4 plus 2. So once we add all that together, that's going to give us, what, 24, 25, 26. So when we have a dot product in three dimensions, we actually end up with a constant solution. So the dot product doesn't change. We still end up with a constant number as a dot product. Now let's talk about magnitude. Okay, magnitude in three dimensions is very simple. I'm going to take the magnitude of u. Now, to find the magnitude, that's just the length. And so we just really are finding the length in thir three dimensions. So let's take the magnitude of u, and u is 3, negative 4, and 1. Now, we want to find the distance, so we're just going to take 3 squared. Let me write it out. 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. And again, we're just adding that third dimension, 1 squared. And that's going to give us the distance squared. So that's going to be 9 plus 16 plus 1 is equal to our distance squared, c squared or d squared in this case. And that's 26 
is equal to d squared. So the distance or the magnitude is the square root of 26. And that is the magnitude and the symbol for magnitude is the double lines on your vector. Okay? And that is how you find the vector in three dimensions. Just add that third coordinate. So, the other lesson in the, the lesson in two dimensions, we talked about the angle between two vectors in two dimensions. So, the, what's the angle between two vectors in three dimensions look like? It looks exactly the same. You take cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of the two vectors on top divided by the magnitude of the two vectors on the bottom. So, it's exactly the same, only it's in three dimensions. So, the dot product of these two, we just calculated that right back here. We just calculated their dot product to be 26. It's the same two vectors, so I'm just going to bring that over. So, that is 26 dot product. Multiply each at each position and then add them together and that gives us the constant of 26. So we have 26 over the magnitude. Well we just found the magnitude of u back here, right? Well the magnitude of u is just the distance and that's the square root of 26. So, hang on, is that right? Was the Dot pro the dot product was 26. It just happened to be the same as the magnitude. Okay, so this is going to be the square root of 26 times, and now let's find the magnitude of z. Okay, the magnitude of z is going to be 6, 1, and negative 2. There's the vector. So let's find the magnitude or the length of that, and that's going to be 6 squared plus 1 squared plus the quantity negative 2 squared. And the reason I say quantity is because that's a negative. So 36 plus 1 plus 4 is 41, right? So that means our magnitude or our distance, d, is the square root of 41. So there we go. So now we got to grab our handy dandy calculator. So let me grab a calculator here. And we've got to type it in the calculator. So let's take 26 divided by, and I'm going to put parentheses around my denominator, the square root of 26 times the square root which I can just leave it under one radical because that's the same of, was that a 41? Yes, 41. Oops, not 441, but 41. Let me just delete one of those fours. There we go. And that gives us, let's go outside the radical. Whoops. And that should do it. Okay. Then we have to do the inverse cosine to find the angle. Now this is a positive value, so we learned in the other unit this should be an acute angle. And the answer is 37.22. So theta, the angle, is 37.22 degrees. And that is the angle between two vectors in three dimensions. So it's really no harder than finding the angle between the vector in two dimensions. You just have to think about that third coordinate to, to multiply to get the dot product and to multiply for the vectors. And that's it. Though that's all there is on this lesson is finding the using operations, which is add, subtract, scalar multiplication, dot products, finding magnitude in three dimensions, and then applying that also to the formula to find the angle between two vectors in three dimensions. Hope this video was helpful.